Hi, Greg Dorsey here. It's Monday, September 19th at Leeb.com, L-E-E-B.com. Well, the stock market got off to a rough start uh, to the week today, following uh, Europe on the way down. Uh, policymakers there failed to come up with uh, a solution over the weekend to the debt crisis. And it remains to be seen how far Greece will go to cut spending to bring it in compliance with uh, the covenants laid out uh, in order for the, the country to be eligible for the next tranche uh, and the, the bailout package. Uh, without those funds, uh, Greece will be unable to meet its obligations at month's end. Uh, Greek default threatens to set off a chain reaction across Europe and indeed the, the global financial system. Uh, already we're seeing uh, the beginnings of a liquidity crisis in anticipation, uh, which could bring about a replay of what we experienced in 2008. Uh, Stocks here at home uh, did manage to pair their losses by the end of the session, uh, but trading was overwhelmingly negative, with nearly seven stocks declining for every advancing issue on the NYSE. Uh, the one major average that managed to close in the green uh, was the NASDAQ 100, but don't read too much into that. Uh, two stocks, which happen to be complete investor picks, uh, Apple and Amazon, were behind the uh, QQQ's gain, uh, thanks to their more than 18% weighting in the average. Uh, as for how the rest of the week will, is shaping up, well, Europe will continue to set the tone, as will the Federal Reserve. Uh, the Fed's policy-setting arm is meeting tomorrow and Wednesday, and expectations are hot that the central bank will take some action uh, in a bid to bring long-term interest rates down to kickstart the economy. Well, for the 30,000-foot perspective on where we're headed, uh, be sure to check out our special webinar that we've posted to Lieb TV. Uh, it'll be available after 6 p.m. tonight. That's L-E-E-B dot TV. I'm Greg Dorsey. Stop by again soon.